I found what's possibly the best automated background remover for AI art. Just look at some of these results right here that I've gotten. These are almost all perfect and in many cases also a lot better than the result that I got with clip drop and I've done a little comparison in Photoshop actually to show you why I think that this new background remover that I found is one of the best out there. So here we've got clip drop on the right, Pixian on the left, which is the new one that I found. And clip drop previously I thought is already amazing, did get good results in many cases. But if we focus in on this result right here from clip drop, we can see that it's not perfect. So there's some highlights missing on the hat right here and within these little balls. And the shadow is also kind of half erased and looks a little foggy here. Whilst it's not a bad result, it's definitely not perfect. Whereas on the left, if we now compare the same areas, the hats still have those highlights and the shadow is completely intact. So the left side right here by Pixian looks a lot cleaner in my opinion. And then here we've got a vintage sunset graphic. Again, Pixian on the left, clip drop on the right. And by the way, I'll show you how to use Pixian in a minute here. I just wanted to show you first why to even use it or why I've started to use it. So the mountains are calling. This result looks pretty clean. There's no real white color left anywhere in between these trees or in the gaps up here. Whereas on the clip drop result, yes, it's done a really good job removing the white from in between the trees right here and the text, but in the sunset, it definitely struggled. And we've even got some like half transparent white remaining right here, which doesn't look good and probably won't print very well either. So yeah, side by side, and I think it's clear that in this case, Pixian did better as well. And then just a few more quick examples. So here we've got plant mama. The word is half erased with the clip drop result. And again, we've got this weird half transparent effect, which definitely isn't good for POD. Whereas Pixian has a lot sharper of an outline and I've never really seen it in my tests do any sort of foggy half transparent results. Here's another example that illustrates that quite well now. In this case, both results are not perfect for sure. Like these background removers that are automated, they will never be perfect, I think, and won't work in every single case. But still, Pixian did a lot better, in my opinion, because the edge is smooth and it's got a crisp edge that should print fairly well, even though the, the graphic is kind of half erased. With the clip drop result on the right, we've got all this kind of foggy, half transparent edge, which doesn't just look terrible, but also isn't ideal for printing. So yeah, I think from most of my tests that I've done so far, Pixian has always either been just as good as clip drop or better. It's rare that clip drop has actually had a better result. Most of the time it actually looks worse. So let me show you how to use Pixian AI. I will have a link to this in the description. They have a free option. It is quite limited, unfortunately, but I guess that's kind of the way most of these AI tools are going. And I paid version as well, which I'll explain to you in a second here. But first of all, how can you kind of just test it out for free? Well, you just drag and drop your images into here. If you have seen any of my previous videos, you probably recognize this interface a little bit. It looks very similar to vector Riser AI it is, I believe, by the same creators. And you can even bulk remove the background from your graphics with the free version, which is, I think, pretty cool. So I can drag and drop, say, three images into here, and it will instantly remove the background. It's very quick. Unfortunately, it limits you to 500 by 500 pixels with the free plan, which is quite small. And it's not ideal for POD. You, you would need to upscale it a lot or perhaps vectorize, uh, which you can actually do when you click on actions, it pops up with uh, the download option and a bunch of other suggestions. For example, trace to SVG on vectorizer.ai. You can also just click on the image that will download it to your device and you can hover over the X symbol up here, which will essentially show you what it looked like with the background in any of these cases. And then at the bottom, you can drag and drop more files into here and then it will just carry on running through. So let me show you that. It will add them up here at the top and you can also hit download all if you've got a massive set of designs that you've drag and dropped into here. Now to explain the paid version, first of all, it will let you remove the background from bigger images, even you know upscaled images with 4,000 pixels, say for example. But what I also like about Pixian is that you don't have to have a subscription. You only buy sort of pay as you go credit packs. These are actually super, super valuable because the uh, the smallest pack right here is four pounds. That's about $5. It gives you 250 credits and that can give you literally like 2000 images, at least from my testing so far. Actually, I should probably change this to dollars right here. There you go, now I've got a bit of a clearer view. So yeah, $5 for 250 credits, and then for 500 credits, it's a bit less. I think you probably only need to buy the, the small package and that probably lasts you like half a year because when we go to my account settings, I have so far used this for 65 images and it's only charged me 6.61 credits. So it's about 10 images 
for one credit. And I've done this with images that are a thousand by a thousand pixels, by the way. I haven't done it with upscaled images, which you can do. That's definitely going to be more expensive in terms of credits charged. But if you're using normal non upscaled images, you can literally probably do about 2,500 images that you can remove the background from and you can do it in bulk as well. So those credits will last you a long time. You don't you don't get charged, you know, $10, $20 every month just for a new subscription. So I think that's definitely a good benefit of Pixian. So let's do a quick test and see how many credits this takes away from you if you want to remove the background from an upscaled image. So I've got one example here that's about 4,000 pixels in height and width. So it's been upscaled four times. I'm back on the home page and I've changed this from free to the paid version. And now we're just going to drag and drop this onto this page. By the way, I think this animation that comes up when you drag and drop files is pretty fascinating. It looks really cool. But yeah, I'm letting go of it. It's 4096 pixels in height and width, as you can see right there. Still works, which is great. Let's go back to the credits page right here. So this is what I had before, 24270. If I refresh this page now, 24202. So it's taken off 0.68 credits for this background removal. So it's about half a credit, maybe slightly more, which is not as bad as I thought. I thought it'd take off like an entire credit, but that shows you like even if you have really high quality images, it's probably still going to give you with the with the five dollars, say like around 500 images that's going to remove the background from, which I think is pretty impressive. But yeah, going back to this result, let's actually click on this owl to download the, the PNG version and take a quick peek at it. So here we are back to Photoshop. And yeah, I think that looks like a pretty damn good result even if we have like a darker gray right here you can't really see any dodgy bits around the edge maybe right here it left a little bit of white that i would have personally removed but besides that good job i'm really impressed with pixian i like the fact that you can just drag and drop loads of images into here in bulk even on the free plan you can do that and if you're buying credits they actually have a ton of value and will probably last you forever and i like the fact that it doesn't give you that kind of half transparent edge which clip drop sometimes does which is really annoying so yeah let me know what you think about it in the comments down below test it out with your own graphics on the free version see if it gets decent results and by the way, I still think that these are not perfect, like these automated ways to remove backgrounds. Sometimes they will fail and then you will have to kind of revert back to using Photoshop or Photopea to do a more manual job. Or what I often do is, is go the vectorizer route and then use Adobe Illustrator to remove the background. So it really depends on your graphics in many cases, how clear the background is defined, what background color you've chosen, because oftentimes a white background is easier to remove than a black background, as you can see some of these examples. But nevertheless, this is definitely one one of the best options out there to quickly and easily remove the background from a majority of your AI artwork. If you're looking for a really good AI art generator that is designed with print on demand sellers in mind, then make sure to check out this video next.